Ah, jeune. C'est l'autre, c'est trop, 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 ouais. Extrêmement différent de ce qu'on connaît tous. Singing around 140 BPM, similar to reggae dub. Days encompassing so many different genres. So lots of drum and bass, lots of reggae, hip hop, jazz, metal, a little bit of everything. Well, uh, I use the example as like punk of techno. It's like you take the basic genre, what people believe techno music is, you know, like to like house, uh, electro, any genre like that, and it's uh, a more aggressive version. So many talented DJs in the city to start off, and the crowd is like one of the best I've ever seen. You know, they're so energetic, and it's so nice to play to an audience that's really responsive. And I just find that in Montreal so much like, people are right front and center and listening and really into what you're doing. And like, yeah, I just think we're so lucky to have such a responsive audience. The Montreal dubstep scene is really interesting because it's 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 changed over since since I really started listening to dubstep, it's changed so much. Like I mean, I I was only listening to dubstep maybe like I started like just last year, like in the fall of last year, and it, considering dubstep has been around for five, almost five years now in the UK, um, it's and I, talking to DJs from the UK as well they've sort of told me that it's it's really interesting the scene here because it's it's like it was in the UK like in 2006 yeah it just gained in popularity and having more and more new faces every week was just the best feeling ever and uh, for me I've noticed that it's one of the first genres of music that uh, have come out where there's nothing attached to it anymore other than the music itself you know you had punk rock where you had the fashion and the lifestyle attached to it and uh, you had the same thing for hardcore ravers with their candy kids and their colorfulness and whatever. And dubstep, you look at the crowd and I cannot classify what type of people they are. I don't think there's a type associated to them at all. And um, that's why I thought it was a, a pretty cool music to start promoting, as well as the fact that there's, there's also a, a pretty big demand for it. <laughs> You know what? Good music doesn't stay underground. It, it comes out. And it, there's still going to be an under, underground aspect to it because we're going to be around throwing our underground all night parties. Whereas you'll have, you know, probably some clubs starting to play dubstep and stuff like that. In terms of dubstep, I mean, music is always changing and like, you know, you think you'll like one genre of music forever, but as you grow and hear more, it always changes. So can't, who knows where dubstep will go in the future, but yeah, I guess, I guess we'll see, yeah.